Some of the animals brought here are orphaned from canned hunts. In a canned hunt, hand-reared animals, mostly big cats, are put into fenced enclosures or drugged and then shot by hunters paying large sums of money. If the chosen target has youngsters, they are left orphaned. Karen Trendler, the director of Wildcare, introduced me to some of her latest arrivals. Basically, any injured, orphaned or misplaced wildlife from sort of rhino, beetle, right the way through to rhino, gets brought to us, we fix them up, rear them, and get them back into the wild as, as fast as we possibly can. Hello, now come this on, is not one. your bottle. Yours is there. Let's see if she'll come to you. With... Come on. How to do a cheetah chirp? Cheetah is a bird. So what happened to this little baby baboon? What, how did you get her? The mother was shot on a game farm and was rescued by some people who were staying on the game farm. And they brought it into us yesterday morning. You must get attached very quickly to these little things. Oh, you do. Yeah, look, come. 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 We look go. at this little cheetah coming in now. How old is this go. baby? She's only five weeks. Five weeks old. Um, she was abandoned by the mum at the DeVille Cheetah Centre. Mm. So she's with us just to be hand raised. Kiara will stay with us until she's 12 or 14 weeks. By that stage, she'll be eating natural foods and she'll be completely weaned. How long will this baboon be with you until um, it can be rehabilitated? He'll stay with us probably for the next three to four weeks, just during the time that he would be close to the mum all the time. And then we try and introduce him to a group. Um, so that he starts interacting with other youngsters and has a, a and natural upbringing. Uh, yeah. These two are a handful. <laughs> they are little okay. Look how Such a sweet little scene. I think I'm getting broody too now. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and these leopard cubs did nothing to cure my maternal instincts. So how old are these babies? These are about between nine and twelve weeks now. <laughs> it's amazing to think that these animals, are, when they're adults, are ten times stronger than a human. So how did you get these ones, Karen? These were confiscated by some law enforcement officers. The mother was shot um, as part of a canned hunt. The babies were removed and then what they'll do is that they hand rear the leopard, they tame, and then they're basically shot in camps. They're shot in camps? In camps. So it has no chance whatsoever. Isn't that and against the, the law? The laws in this country are not, don't adequately control unethical hunting. It's once again governed by money. So where are they going? They're actually going down to Kwandwe. Oh, fantastic. And uh, they're going to be given as close to full release as can possibly be done without them being a danger to humans. So what's Kwandwe like? Absolutely beautiful. I big think open spaces. Big open spaces, leopard country, freedom. And that's what these little guys really deserve.